What's going on, people? Hope y'all are doing uh, fantastic. Before I go anywhere with this video, I want to say that I am completely out of my mind and I have no idea what I'm talking about. And you should seek professional advice where you see fit. All right. With that being said, uh, tax time and trucking. I said this in another video about, I think it was the rules of engagement for your trucking business. Um, and just reiterate, you want to separate yourself from your, your company. And what do I mean by that? You have, you shouldn't, you don't have to, but uh, you want to put your company in the name of a corporation and file the necessary paperwork and everything like that. On paper, it separates you from your company. Um, now, it's probably be a quick video, but you're going to have to stop and research and do, you know, if you want to, uh, what I'm talking about. So once you separate yourself from your company and you choose the the entity that you put your business in, whether it's an LLC, an S Corp or a C Corp, or maybe you have an LLC with an S Corp or so on and so forth. Uh, that's up to you to do your own research. Um, the whole idea of that is to not run your business off of your social security number, i.e. sole proprietor. Um, and with each business entity, there are pros and cons of what you can do, what you can't do as far as write-offs and benefits and uh, fringe benefits and things like that. So that's going to be up to you to choose um, and do your own research. Now, with that being said, we'll use Tony as an example. Let's say Tony makes six figures, right? Does Tony pay, even though Tony can pay himself a big salary, does Tony pay himself a big salary? No, because if Tony pays himself thirty-five, maybe $40,000 a year, Tony qualifies for state benefits. Even though Tony does not need state benefits, he qualifies for them. And because they are available, maybe Tony goes ahead and enrolls in these state benefits because they're available to him because he only makes $40,000. Um, what type of state benefits do, would Tony qualify for if he only makes $40,000? Well, he can probably get subsidized Obamacare. Um, even though Tony doesn't really need it, he can probably get that. He can probably get, um, he, <laughs> he can probably get food stamps. Um, now Tony probably doesn't really need it, but because it is available to him, Hey, why not? Um, and so on and so forth. I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't know, you know, Tony's whole situation and, and what he has and what he doesn't have, but that's an idea of why you want to separate yourself from your company because your company can make all this money, but you as an employee of your company, you may not make want to make all that money because the more you make, the more you get taxed and the more, uh, uh, stuff that, um, like insurance and stuff that, you know, you're going to pay a premium for. So, uh, that's one aspect of it. Um, now, how does Tony keep his paperwork straight? Um, I asked him one day, I said, Tony, how do you keep your paperwork straight? You know, with your company and everything like that. Tony has a a payroll service that keeps track of all his pay payroll and, and federal tax and stuff like that. So every quarter, you know, Tony pays his amount on, on the, the, the profit that he made and uh, so on and so forth. Um. So Tony pays for a payroll service with that. 
And at the end of the year, every quarter, they give Tony a, a sheet um, saying what he made and what he paid and all that. And at the end of the year, that will all total up and that will come off of Tony's uh, um, gross at the end of the year. So if he made six figures, whatever he made, and minus to the 35, 40,000, 45, whatever, that comes off that. And that's taxed on a personal level. But since Tony was smart, he qualifies for all these benefits. And he gets earned income credit. And maybe he has children. So there's, what, uh, 3000 per child and everything like that. So essentially, Tony has studied the rules of the of the of, of commerce, <laughs> if you would. And he is using uh, the benefits available to him, even though he may not need them. Uh, so Tony also mentioned that basically it's the same thing that Donald Trump does, just on a smaller level. Now, <laughs> I don't think you know any billionaires and millionaires or anything like this are watching this channel. If they are, cool. You know, if not. Um, um, cool. I mean, either way. But Tony wanted me to tell you guys that that is how he does it. So let's recap. So let's say Tony makes six figures. He has a payroll company that pays him a certain amount per year. And out of that certain amount, he he says he qualifies for certain benefits from the state. And whether he needs them or not, and he don't need them because, you know, he makes decent money running, you know, his truck. But, um, you get what I'm saying? So now I asked Tony, I said, well, what about when it comes to, uh, let's say you want to qualify for some kind of financing or whatever, and you're only making a certain amount? Well, he said, you know, that's, uh. There are ways around that, and he said, since you're a business owner, you can pay yourself anything you want. You know, as long as, you know, you're, as long as you make that, you can pay yourself anything you want on paper. But uh, he didn't really go into detail on that, but um, I hope this answers your question. Uh, it probably didn't answer it directly. You're going to have to go back and do your own research. And um, make sure you tell Tony, thank you.